What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a clone effect in Vegas Pro 15. So, it's really simple to do, and we're going to be creating the same video you saw at the start. Now, this is exactly how you have to film this. Number one, have it on a tripod. Number two, you want to make sure the lighting stays the same. So if you have windows, then it's going to be a bit difficult because the light's always uh, changing in terms of where the shadows will be. Um, and then what you need to do when filming, number one, you need a blank canvas like this. So when you're not in the scene, but everything else that's going to be in the scene is there. So from here, you want to snapshot this. The next thing you want a clip of you uh, on one side of the room doing whatever you want to do. And then another clip doing whatever you want to do. Now you can see both file names are the same. I done this in one take, meaning I didn't stop and then start the camera twice. Uh, the reason it's already split is because it'll just save time for the tutorial. So the first thing, like I mentioned, we need a blank canvas to take a screenshot of. So right here. All we're gonna do to take a screenshot, make sure this is set to best and full and simply press this button. So I'll just call this back and select save. Now you can see it's appeared in our projects media. I'm gonna drag and drop this onto our timeline. I'm then just gonna drag it across and I'm gonna put this onto the bottom video track. So it's this one right here. Now, the first one where I'm sitting over on this side, on our right side, I, uh, this is gonna be the first scene you can see. So right here, I will trim it to. And then we have this other video clip. So, uh, the part where I am actually there, which is, I'll go to the part where I'm just sitting down. So right here, and I can simply trim this part. Now with this one, we're going to right click, insert a video track, and we're gonna put this onto another video track. The audio, it's up to you. If you're talking in it, by all means keep it. If not, you can delete it. And now, this is where the syncing up comes in. Now mine does require some sort of syncing because I try to uh, keep it in some sort of timing. Uh, the way I done that, there was no actual plan to it. I just done the exact same thing I done in the other clip and replicated it in the second clip. Um, so that's all, there was no timing to it. Of course, when you do it, time it perfect. Now, what we're gonna do is lower the opacity of the top track. This way we can see our other clone. So we can see if I play it through, you can see it's gonna lag. Most likely that will happen, just simply turn on the preview quality. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is coming to the pattern crop on the top track. And now we're gonna be selecting the mask, which will appear here at the bottom left. So select that masking, uncheck sync cursor and select the first keyframe. Now come to your pen tool, and all you're gonna do is simply draw a line down the middle and cut yourself out on the left. So you can see, this is the line. So we can see where we're gonna be cutting down. And this is looking about right. And then all we're gonna do is box it out and link back up. So as you can see, we've gone around ourselves and yes, there is a color difference. Like I said, lighting is a key thing to do this clone effect. Mine was not the best, as you can see. Uh, there is sort of a way around it, which I will be showing you though. Now, this line down the middle is terrible. So what we do where it says path over to the side, we're going to change the feather type to both. We're then gonna to come to feather and we're gonna bring up the feather. You can see you just need a little bit to get rid of it like that. Now, we can X out to this and we can put this back to 100% opacity. You can see that line is still there and it is very harsh. So we can come back to the feather and we can try bringing it up just a little bit more. Now you wanna be careful not to go too high because you'll see if you watch the arms here, if I go higher, I will then start to slowly go into the arms and it will cause them to fade out a bit. So just be careful and aware of that. Uh, we'll try it like this, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna X out of it. Okay, so I've done a RAM preview, which is up to 15 seconds. So hopefully this could be no lag and it's in somewhat good quality. I'll play it through for you and this is what we have just created. So as you can see, both of them aren't synced up just yet, but you can see the natural one has sort of turned out pretty good.
And there you go. Uh, the full video to what I have created was at the start of this video, so you'd know what it does look like in the end. Now a tip for the lighting, say your lighting is off and it's very noticeable, come to video effects, come to brightness and contrast and drag on the default. Now most likely it's going to be your top video causing the problems. Or whichever video looks either too dark or too light. So I'm going to drag and drop on the default. And you can see we can now control the brightness if we need to put it up or put it down. Now I think just here is good. And then we can also control the contrast. So you can see just like this. And I think that has blended it in really well. So that's got rid of all that line. Uh, so you can see what I done was put the brightness down just literally a tiny, tiny bit. And then the contrast was down 0.061. But that's how you clone yourself in Vegas Pro 15.